Scorpio Singles, welcome to your mid-November uh, singles read, Meet the Soulmate. So, I was in the middle of this, sort of, and um, um, the technical glitch, but I hate to give up on reading, because it's fine reading, um, and um, I hate that tech interferes with the cards. So, Taurus in the ninth house, me, hello. <laughs> Uh, always on Thursdays, it's Libra Scorpio Day, by the way, so also have up the heart spread. Uh, check out the Soul Family Read for today, particularly it's a daily read for whoever resonates, but it's around the full moon in Scorpio at 12 degrees. It might be affecting you very uh, very directly if you have a sun anywhere around that 12 degree Scorpio mark. Um, so here we're talking about your person, and I'm saying it's, it's a always positive read because it's simply asking who's the right one for you, who's the soulmate that's best for you to have in your life. And um, so if we see a triggery card, it's uh, no one's breaking up with anyone. We're trying to describe their life. And I'm going to look at their emotional energy here. It's represented by the Empress and the King of Pentacles. And their intellectual energy here represented by judgment and the magician and we've gotten that far um, i'll go back over that here we'll look at the sexual and love energy for them and here we'll look at what i call the core values and the lifestyle energy four pillars of a relationship so in the name of light and love only so as serves the greatest good here surrounded in pure white light we ask for guidance spirit uh, in this scorpio singles read so we have a Taurus moon. I'd like to look at the astrological placements. I think we have a Gemini sun and a Gemini mercury, and they're probably conjunct within 10 degrees. Um, this is someone that grew up in a household that was, um, if not wealthy, um, upper middle class, comfortable. Um, I think they had a traditional lifestyle, like they had a mom and they had a dad, and the dad was the guy and did guy stuff and the mom was the mom and did like mom stuff and girl stuff and like mom had girlfriends and dad had his guy friends and uh, they kind of got together for dinner or to have sex once in a while. Kind of a traditional relationship and I think this person you could describe them as traditional and I want to say I, I'm not saying they're, uh, they're uh, conservative to me they could be uh, but um, it's more about traditions for this person. Uh, it's going to be someone who's going to be uh, traditional uh, around their um, childhood, um, especially around religious teachings, spiritual teachings. And here with Judgment and the Magician, um, I think they were actively educated in esoteric arts. That's what I think. And I think it's like they have a mind for it. Maybe the parents are like that. I see very high functioning parents. Um, the mother and the father, they, they may have owned a, their own business. Um, they may have traveled. Um, they may have connections with uh, the scholarly world. Maybe mom was a professor and dad was the CEO or had his own company. Um, and so your person had, had, it was really a nice childhood for uh, Taurus Moon. It's different from the previous reading here with that Taurus Moon there in any number of ways. Um, but this person grew up with absolute confidence, uh, self-esteem. Um, they don't have these kind of issues. Um, and... They are someone with judgment over the magician. I think that they would be someone who, they always believe that they can make a difference. And like to the point where they'll be like, oh, if you'd be like, I don't think you can really make a difference. They'll be like, watch. Let me show you, make a difference. They'll like do it, I'll do it right now. If you wanna see me make a difference, I'm gonna do it right now. And you just be like, yeah, what are you gonna do? And then they might somehow do it. They might somehow do it. Um, we'll see when we get to their lifestyle core values, but I'd see this person, they, they, they may have been, uh, I've, as, a, as an astrologer, I work with a lot of psychic people, and I've seen really good young psychics, you see it in their chart, 
It's like they were born to go. Most of us spend our lives working towards that north node energy, trying to get there. These people, by the time they're out of college or not even in high school, I mean, they already are working and understanding things and changing things. And This is a working psychic, working healer. Um, who knows? It could be very different. Like, something that they do could be very different. Like, it's probably not tarot or astrology. That's too mundane. It's like uh, they combine the I Ching with something else and shamanic uh, drumming. I don't know. You know, I think this would... This one would be, um, this would be someone too who's utterly unique. Their mind is utterly unique. People would say that about them. There's a story up for you, okay? And you, you're different, dude. <laughs> you're different, okay? Knight of Wands, sexual and love energy. And I love this. Okay, remember we're looking at Gemini Sun now. Here we're looking at Venus and Mars energy. Uh, and you've got the Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. we got another Mars and Cancer, guys. Gemini, Sun, Mars and Cancer, Venus and Leo. Mars and Cancer, Venus and Leo, Gemini, Sun, Taurus, Moon. You know, there's a lot of balance here, you know. Um, you, you've got... Uh, Powerful earth energy, the moon exalted in Taurus, and very solid there. Um, Gemini and Mercury are effective, you know, um, uh, powerful energy of the mind. You know, um, it's probably going to be well placed, their sun in their chart, and their Mercury too. It's how they can do what they do. So, and also, I got to tell you, this would also be a manifester extraordinaire. So they may talk about that and, and they probably, this person probably call it manifestation, you know. I think they'd be very aware here of who and what they are. Again, from an early age. Also, um, sexually with uh, Leo, Venus, and the Cancer Mars. I told you, you know, they like the traditional. Um, so if it's a woman, you know, they want a man to take them. And they want a man to be their lion. Um, they, they want them to be strong, to be manly. Uh, like literally, uh, it, you could go so far as to say they made like kind of a rugged man. The marble man look, you know, more than the baby face. Um, um, I'm sure they would turn down Brad Pitt, but, you know, <laughs> uh, or, I mean, if it's a man, and the opposite, they want a femme girl, they want someone that's very feminine, and um, they want to, you know, take a woman, um, but there could be chivalry involved, I mean, look at this volcano, too, um, and passion, Yeah, you put Venus in Leo, um, you, it is a lot of passion. But then with the Cancer Mars, um, that's quite a balance to all this. Um, this is someone that they're capable of being vulnerable. And it's because they're not afraid. There's a, uh, you know, uh, Leo rules the heart. Leo is brave. Venus and Leo is brave. Uh, Venus and Leo it will stand up for the people they love. Man or woman, I mean, they will, like, literally stand up, you know. Like, I don't know, this is a common thing. I, I hate this, but, you know, maybe your your person's family are being dicks and your person's not really standing up for you or you're not standing up with them and your family's being dicks. And that's not Leo Venus. Let's see, Leo Venus would not, they would be like, uh-uh, you don't talk to my wife like that. You don't talk to my husband like that. I don't care. I don't care who you are, Mom. I don't give a fuck who you are, Dad. You don't talk to them like that. That's how they're going to be. And a mixture of passionate. They might just be off the hook passionate having sex. And when it's all over with this Cancer Mars, they end up crying a little bit or just crying. 
man or woman, and it's not even bad. Don't freak out. You know, my first wife was Cancer Mars. She told me decades later that I was the only man that ever liked when she would cry after sex. I would just hold her, say I love you. That was it, you know. Um, Cancer Mars. It's, it's actually, it's just kind of sweet. It's how they release the energy. They're also someone's going to need sex, you know. they Sex is more than just sex. It's like a intimacy to them. Definitely looks like it's going to be where they're the most intimate, the most vulnerable, right in their sexuality, right? Right behind closed doors, only with you. Emperors coming up in the core values and lifestyle. Aries energy, sure, and the Ace of Cups, wow. I, this person is amazing. So you've got next to your Knight of Wands, the Emperor here, and you've got next to the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups. So needless to say, they're the boss. That's what that's mostly gonna be like. They are the boss here um, in some position of power. In terms of their home life, they're gonna want control um, of the home um, that, you know, like if this was HGTV, search for a home, they would be the one that was just like really up in arms because, you know, the ensuite bathroom doesn't have two sinks. Yeah. Um, and that way at work, I think they have some kind of authority. They want to have absolute authority. It might just be their own company, their own boss doing their own thing. And with the Ace of Cups here, it almost surely mean uh, they're doing what they love. Then that's all they would do. It's like what in in terms of that they give everything, and you've got the empress in the emperor here. So I say it's kind of an amazing person. It's no telling what they might have accomplished and will accomplish. Um, this magician energy, their mind is, is utterly unique. I don't even think I could guess uh, as to what they might actually be doing, um, because it's most likely going to be something I'm not going to think of here. Um, I'm definitely not getting any hits, but they're going to tell you, and then you're going to be like, okay, that's out there. Uh-huh, would have never thought of that, but cool. That's how you're going to be. Like, okay, would have never really thought of that on my own in a million years, but now that you said it, wow, that sounds really cool. And this is your person, so let me know. Give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you could think of anywhere to share this, help brother out and... Uh, share it where you think it might be helpful or appropriate and do subscribe. Thank you guys